Hello all, this video is on assembly procedure of the new ultrasonic based auto sanitizer kit on our RO cabinet. This ultrasonic kit has got two MOSFET drivers, one for uh, motor pump driver, another for the solenoid drive. It has also got two presets, first one for adjusting the motor on timing and the second one for adjusting the force of the motor. Power up to 24 volt 1 amps can be provided. The sensor used is ultrasonic which is not uh, affected even in uh, direct sunlight. The motor pump used is R385 which is 12 volt DC pump motor and the solenoid used is 24 volt RO solenoid. Uh, the tubes related to RO solenoid can be easily procured. The flexible and the uh, stiff one. It can be directly plugged onto the solenoid. The pump motor has got uh, indications in and outlet. You have to uh, do the connections correctly. A nozzle, uh, brass nozzle or a plastic nozzle can be used. This is the RO cabinet, 8 liter easily available. At the top portion, if you open the lid, you can see the container, 8 liter container, and uh, uh, two holes are provided for the uh, putting the tube inside. At the back side, you can fix the electronic items. You have to put some holes, one for the DC socket. On the bottom, you have to put a, a hole for a, a fixing ultrasonic sensor and nozzle. First, fix the control board. That is a, a PIC microcontroller uh, control board. And then provide the DC socket and then connect the ultrasonic sensor to the control board using the really made connector fix the ultrasonic sensor to the hole we have made now and the nozzle can be connected at the to the bottom uh, brass nozzle and as well as plastic nozzles are available now fix the r385 pump motor using clamp fix it in the horizontal position it has got two wires, one is positive and the other one is uh, negative. Then fix the solenoid, that is a solenoid is 24 volt solenoid, you can fix it easily to the side of the cabinet or to the bottom of the cabinet. The inlet of solenoid goes to the output of the uh, motor pump and the outlet of the solenoid goes to the nozzle. The inlet of R385 motor is connected to the flexible tube and the tube is dropped into the container. This uh, sucks the sanitizer from the uh, cabinet. Now we have to do the uh, uh, DC connections. The positive of both the motor and the solenoid to be uh, made common and connected to the positive terminal that is the first terminal of the uh, on the board and the lower end terminal is connected to the negative of the solenoid and the center terminal is connected to the negative of the motor pump you, you can use 24 volt 1 amps adapter as the solenoid we are using is 24 volt provide the power source you can see the uh, power led and if you bring the hand near the ultrasonic sensor, the LED will light up and the motor will be on. The sensing range is up to 15 centimeter. Now we have to adjust the R385 pump uh, uh, voltage to 12 volt. As we are using 24 volt, we have to adjust it to 12 volt using the PWM preset. That is the end preset. Place the positive terminal of uh, multimeter to the top and the negative terminal to the center and adjust the end preset that is the PWM preset so that the voltage is 12 volt when you bring your hand near the ultrasonic sensor this setting is important otherwise the more your motor may fail while operating on 24 volt you have to adjust the PWM preset to bring it to 12 volt the end terminal will be at 24 volt if you bring the hand now let us test the uh, sanitizing output. When you bring the hand near the uh, ultrasonic sensor, the motor will be on and you can get a, get the dispenser. Let us change the nozzle to the plastic uh, 
spray nozzle you can get a spray nice mist spray you can adjust the uh, timing using the first preset uh, keep the uh, preset to the low condition so that the on time is very less and uh, you can use a stiff uh, tube to the motor and the solenoid can be fixed uh, at the bottom of the cabinet and the nozzle to be provided directly to the solenoid these steps will control the amount of uh, sanitizer uh, dispensed and save the sanitizer thank you for watching